What is up, guys? It's Nick, also known as Born Gamer, bringing you part three of the Assassin's Creed How To series. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I figured that I'd make number three an actual live commentary so that you guys get a feel for what I'm thinking. And I'm actually not going to select my character. Hopefully, um, that will give me a little bit more time to talk here. I'm going to be playing Simple Deathmatch, of course, against very, very low level people because if you are new to this game, I suggest playing Simple Deathmatch being that there is no abilities, so it relies more on skill and vision and overall just knowing your situation, so I'm going to be doing live commentary so you guys know how to approach a situation like I do. I mean, assuming you want to win. So, <laughs> so these guys are pretty low levels, but I assume that's going to make them tentative, which should give me an opportunity to commentate over my own live reaction, so that's very good. Alright, well this was a huge fail on the part of the game. You want to be aware at the very beginning that they will uh, spawn you very close to your pursuer and or your target. This guy I'm thinking might be my pursuer. So, all right, that was unfortunate there. Okay, this kid seems to be my target. So what I'm gonna do here is get in the hidden group and get a nice little hidden kill, add to my bonuses. Obviously these kids are pretty low level, so I'm looking for a person that's walking all by themselves. Okay. The B button is very <laughs> used in this game, I could say. So, you'll want to be on the lookout. Alright, he did not seem to be my target. However, my target is in my line of sight. And, yep, I did see a couple people fast walking to me, and I couldn't really do anything. And, hey, that's actually a subscriber of mine. What's up, Tommy? Welcome to the internet. No, actually, uh, Tommy's got a video of his uh, channel of his own. He's starting up. I'm trying to help him out with it. I've been pretty busy this weekend, so hopefully he doesn't ruin my gameplay too much. And by the way he's walking towards me, uh, he seems to be fully aware that I'm his target. So what I'm going to do here is try and get a little line of sight on this kid. Oh, shoot. Alrighty. Well, I think that Tommy was my pursuer, and he was smart enough not to give chase to me. And there is my target, so I'm going to be watching out for this deacon and if I'm lucky you know I'm actually just gonna chase him down and get a reckless kill because I want to add that to my variety so uh reckless isn't all too bad and Tommy seemed to have found a very good time to come and slash me in the face but hopefully he's not ruining the video too much I'm just kidding Tommy uh it's good for you he's uh adding to his reckless bonus and that's gonna be a lot easier to give greater variety now what you saw there is that Joseph is ooh, 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 this is bad gotta get away if he sprints toward me, I can stun him. Okay, there is that very split second, split, split second between... Oh, that was lucky. What I... <laughs> really quick. Two things. There's that split second you have when uh, they jump down. Maybe I can get it here. Where you can stun them and you don't need any ability. So I'm going to try and stand in this corner and hopefully he'll get impatient and try and jump down. Oh, my goodness. Ah, guys, I'm trying. Okay, maybe if I'm smart enough. All right, come on, jump down at me, kid. Jump down. All right, one of them's going to jump down at me, and I will show you exactly what I mean. Nope, they're actually all after me here. All right, I'm just going to say screw it. I'm going to take the kill and maybe get a contested kill here if I'm lucky. Oh, Tommy's after me again. Okay, I'm going to maybe get lucky here and get a, uh, a naked stun on Tommy if he runs around this corner quick enough. Yep. All right, Tommy, you've been outplayed. Oh, and I got kind of screwed there. Simple deathmatch is kind of crazy, especially when you're playing in first place because there's no ability, so people aren't afraid to just run straight at you. But I do have 2,200. Tommy's finishing uh, in second right behind me, very close. So I have one pursuer on me. I got to be very cautious. And, oop, I got lucky. Ah, oh, jeez, he saw me. I'm going to try and get an... If I'm lucky, I can get the aerial kill on him and add to my bonuses. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I've already started chase on this kid. I feel very bad. <laughs> He's not really playing too smart. So once you've initiated chase, there's really not very many bonuses you can get. I think you can get a poison, but that's very, very rare, so I wouldn't suggest it. Now I have three pursuers on me, no target, so I'm just waiting to hear some whispers. So let's listen in. All right, Tommy was not my pursuer, so that's very good. And I only have one pursuer on me, so I'm going to take a chance and walk right through the middle of the map because you have most lines of sight and the best chance to see your target. Now, he just ran right past me, so see if I can't... Oh, well, that seems to be a D. 
steal there. Now I'm going to jump in this hay bale because hay bales have very good range and hopefully this kid's going to walk right past me here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Walked into me. Alrighty, I got my hidden incognito because I was patient and I was actually mashing the X button, so that's very good to add to your variety bonus if I hadn't gotten already. Now the Deacon is a real player, so I want to be on the lookout to see if maybe he's my pursuer because there's three and there's a very good chance. Now I note the Cortezon's making a straight line almost towards me. Maybe you didn't see me, I'm not sure. Possibly not, possibly not my target. Now, I know I'm talking pretty fast, but this is what's all running through my mind. It's a little bit more complicated of a game than you might think. And what I'm thinking right now is that was a really crappy spawn on his part because I just killed him, and then, of course, he got me as his target. Now, I see that he is in my line of sight, and I'm going to try to maybe lure him out here. Okay, well, I'm going to do my best here to build up to the incognito, maybe stay away from him for a second. Cool, all right, got my incognito. That's all I could care about. If I was uh, confident enough that he wasn't having any idea where I was, I would have jumped up top and maybe gotten the acrobatic kill to add to my bonus. But I have another 4 minutes 45 seconds and it looks like it's time for some revenge. Now this kid is kind of fast walking towards me. That character has the worst fast walk animation in the game. It's very obvious to tell and I guarantee Tommy knows I'm after him right now. So he should, somebody should be giving chase to me. This guy I know is a real player so I'm going to do a little naked stun hopefully around him. He doesn't see me around this corner so I'm going to catch him off guard. Oh, not the case here. I accidentally ran up that little barrel or whatever it was, but you guys understand. Um, I broke his line of sight, and I tried to catch him off guard, but I still get the, did get the honorable kill. Honorable death, my bad. So I have one pursuer on me. I'm trying to listen to some whispers here, and it just popped into my line of sight, so I assume that since he's not in the middle, he must be on the outsides of the map, and I did just gain a pursuer, and it's, yep. That was a uh, really perceptive on my part, and another thing is that he was sprinting there and was not uh, the big pursuer dot over my head, so I'm assuming that he is not my pursuer. Now, I would be more impatient to get the ground finish if I had not gotten it at the beginning of the match. However, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. So Tommy is my pursuer here, and he did just get into my line of sight. And since there's a lot of normal players around me, I'm going to assume that he's going to be coming in this direction. Now one of these two I'm thinking is after me, although they may not know exactly where I am. Alright, that was a pretty good guess on my part there. And now I am just looking for him. Where may he be? He's in my line of sight. Okay, he's behind me here. I'm just going to try and get a quick discreet kill. I'm not actually sure if I've gotten that as a bonus, so that might be good to add to my greater variety. All right, just 250 points, but it did get me back in the first place. The Deacon's my pursuer, so I'm looking for one more, and I think I can catch him off guard here. I'm going to chase him down and mash B. And I, okay, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I should have gotten my stun, but maybe the lag stopped me. Now, I know that the Deacon is still my pursuer. However, I feel that, all right, that's what I was talking about before, where I can get him, and hopefully, if you do kind of like a quick little walk towards him, if you kind of sprint like a very small amount, your detection doesn't go down quick enough for that thing to pop up over your head, so. All right, no pursuers on me. I know that he's over there, not being too smart, and he's going to the right, so I'm going to cut him off around this corner since he's sprinting. Maybe I can get into a hidden group. And once again, I've taken the lead, but you got to predict your enemies as much as you're predicting your own moves, if that makes any sense. As much as you're planning your own moves. Plan around your enemies, that's the most I can say. Now, I just saw a champion, which most likely means that a champion joined the game, and seeing how this NPC is all over the place now, I assume that... I assume that that person quit. And I'm hearing whispers, and I'm not seeing any specific people around me so I'm assuming it's either the deacon oh come on see that was kind of garbage on the game there because his left trigger red dot didn't appear over his head so I'm looking for a count now and he does seem to be right around the corner here and if I'm lucky I can get into this hidden group and he's running around like God knows what. I'm going to sprint really quick and get my hidden kill. If you run out of there just quick enough, you can't get the hidden. And I'm going to lock him just in case he becomes my pursuer. All right. 
And since the lock targeting system is not too great in this game, you always want to keep in mind who's around you. Now there is a courtesan, and he's by a lot of hidden groups here. So hopefully I can get into the hidden group, get my silent, and yes I can. All right, nice hidden silent kill there. Don't forget you always want to try and get the highest point kill because you never know when your opportunity is going to come. I get a nice naked stun there because I was had, having a lot of NPCs in my way, which confuses the other player immensely. Now this guy just broke my line of sight, so I know that he's over here, and I'm going to get my aerial kill so I can... Oh, jeez, that was bad. Okay, get another reckless. I was trying to go for aerial to get my greater variety because I know I have to be close, but for whatever reason, I'm not getting it. Deacon? Nope, not you. All right, first place should be locked up because Tommy doesn't seem to be getting any pursuers. And Hey, what just happened there? All right, guys, that is how you play Simple Deathmatch. Uh, feel free to rewind, pause, and find out whatever it is you need to about this game type. It's very good for beginners. I still managed to get 6,500 points without a greater variety. Pretty good game, actually. I might have posted this to begin with, even without a live com. Uh, thanks to Tommy for joining my game. I'm actually going to try and hit him up in the inbox just to coordinate our next game together and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed if I talked a bit too fast I'm sorry but I was just trying to relay what was going on in my mind until next time guys I'll see you